What's up guys welcome back to my booktube channel and today i'm going to be doing a video on one of the dramas that i recently like just finished watching and the name is do you like brams and this is not a very popular drama it's like pretty underrated but um i've seen it like quite a few times sometimes because i'm like i'm like a huge fan of kim and jay the actor so i was like hmm, maybe i should like watch more of his dramas because like after watching dr romantic 3 i literally like became obsessed with him so i was like oh maybe maybe i should give this a try and so i did and i was actually low-key obsessed because this drama is actually a vibe like i actually really like this drama um for a little like spoiler not i'm gonna do like a non-spoiler one because this one's a little less popular so i just want to give you a little quick non-spoiler review so maybe you can go and check it out if you're interested but there's basically this girl right and she plays the violin and she, at first she went to one of the best schools for business and then after getting her degree in business she was like mm, i'm not really sure i want to do this maybe i should go and go into violin instead which is something that i'm really interested in so she tried really hard to get into the school again for music and she did yay congrats she got into school for music and then while she's there she meets this piano player and he's like a really famous piano player he's like the same he's the same age as her but he needs to he just finished like going on a world tour and stuff so he needs to like go back and finish up like his last semester of college so they meet then they um fall in love obviously he has some things going on with his little friend group there's like a little love triangle-ish thing going on there's a little bit of a forbidden love trope um there's a little bit of like not really rich guy poor girl but like popular guy and like little unknown girl type thing going on um there's a lot of classical music like some classical music that i really like so i was like hmm, maybe after watching this i was like maybe i should get into a little bit of classical music you know because i honestly like and it also made me want to like go and practice my drums because if you guys didn't know i play drums but i haven't practiced i literally don't practice at all i just find it so boring and i just really don't like I don't really don't really feel like practicing so watching this drama made me kind of feel like hmm maybe I should go maybe I should go practice playing my instrument because playing an instrument is like really fun I love watching dramas about stuff I don't usually watch about like watching sports dramas I like watching dramas about like pretty unknown or little like um less popular sports instead of just like basketball or football or stuff like that like watching sports about badminton or tennis or something or track or i don't know something that's a little less unknown that's kind of like fun and so watching a drama about like classical music was like really interesting and it helped me to learn a lot um a little more about classical music and the titles of each drama the title of each title I mean, the title of each, like, episode was, um, I think it was in, like, French or Latin or something. And then they had the English translation. So it all had, like, a really cool meaning to it. So I really liked this drama. I thought it was really fun. Um, it was kind of sad sometimes. Um, there's some pretty good messages and themes in here. Um, they had such great chemistry. Like, Park and Min and Kim and Jay had such amazing chemistry. That's why I like this drama so much. And I love um the main character. Like she was honestly so relatable. She was so she was honestly so such a sweet person. And the whole thing going on with his like his whole like love triangle friendship thingy was very complicated. It was kind of like, oh, oh, like I don't know. I kind of root for him, but at the same time, I was like, he's low key in the wrong. But at the same time, like he can't like control who you fall in love with. So it was just like a whole mix of three things i was like not really sure if i should be rooting for him or, and the dude who was kind of wronged i was like yeah he was wronged but at the same time it was like uh, the way he's acting right now kind of makes me not want to root for him and all that stuff going on but if the, none of this makes sense to you it'll make sense once you watch the drama so go ahead and watch it i watched it on my asian tv um i looked i literally looked everywhere on netflix that i could find this drama like i looked netflix singapore netflix hong kong netflix japan everything and they did have on netflix japan actually but they only had it in japanese subtitles and i don't know japanese so i was like oh whatever let me go to my asian tv and i did and i watched it on there and it was pretty good so i don't know and each of the episodes are like one hour it's not like super long or anything like that and there's 16 episodes like a regular drama but i thought it was really good they do get together um but they do like break up kind of in the middle if th this might be a little bit of a spoiler but i don't think that's that much of a spoiler but that kind of like got on my nerves because i really hate when they like 
break up and get back together in the last 30 minutes of the drama it just feels so dramatic for no reason but yeah that's the end of this quick little hopefully it was like non-spoiler-ish for you and hopefully convince you to go watch the drama if you're not gonna watch it for anything just watch it for like the classical music and for the like um you can watch it for the classical music and for the chemistry between the two main leads they were actually amazing but yeah that's the end of this video hope make sure you like subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you never miss a video when i upload and i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye